Hey everyone, welcome to the All Brand Show. I'm Barbara and I have a very special guest, Sylvain Bergeron, and we're going to be talking about Burnett Airlocks from Bernina, from Burnett for Bernina. And are those them behind you, Sylvain? Yes, that's my babies. <laughs> so we're so excited to be talking about these amazing airlock machines, what they do, the features that they have, and uh, some stitches too, right? Yep, and the great value they represent, yes. Yeah. All right, so we'll see you in just a second. Sylvain. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> so I just have a few announcements before we get started. Um, mm -hmm. There is a special, a very limited time special going on on one of these Burnett models and a few other of the sewing machines. I'm going to flash that on the screen because today is June 1st, 2023, and you get super savings on any one of these four models. And we'll be talking about the B64 overlock um, today. Also, we're going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this video. So to be eligible for that, um, comment hashtag all brands in the chat. And you just may be a lucky winner at the end of this video. And also, we're live. So you can ask questions and I will um, save those and ask Sylvain live while you're watching. So type away and um, don't be afraid. No question is a bad question. So Sylvain, I'm so excited that you're here with us today. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. By the way, those specials you put up, the B77, that was voted best sewing machine in its category by Money Magazine and another ma big consumer magazine. The uh, B5, the twins, the Crafter and the Academy, they are crazy good values. Them, those machines are high powered, high speed. They come with uh, accessories, especially the Academy. Uh, when I saw the price point on the Academy price list, I thought it was a typo when it first launched. That is an amazing machine. And then the 64, we'll talk about it today because that is a sweetheart of, a, of an overlocker, of a serger. I think they're going to be blown away. <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> when I push a button, when I push a yeah. button. <laughs> My hair's going to be like, shoo! <laughs> yep, yep, yep. We'll let, you, we'll let you show that. So, okay, um, cool. uh, yeah, take it away, and I will ask if we have any questions coming in, I will be sure to pass those. Cool, I'll be glad to answer them. So, uh, uh, just to start with Burnett, Burnett is made for Bernina, and which means it makes for a more affordable machine. But then Bernina works with the manufacturer to put some of even Bernina features in there, as you'll see today, to make this a great value. And that's the mission of the brand Burnett, is to deliver value. Now, value doesn't mean necessarily the least price or the, you know, or the, the uh, most features for a cheap price. It's this sweet spot where you get the features, you get all the, the things that will help you in your sewing room at an affordable price. And what I have today is really a step forward in, in that field, if you want, where you get amazing value and features that work for you. I'm a user, I sew. I've, I started with garments. And I was a grad student when uh, in my 20s, and I wish Burnett had been what it is today back then, because I, it's not the theme of the Burnett brand, the advertising is for all your ideas, right? And it's not because I was a grad student on a small wallet, that I did not have big ideas, right? I designed my own shirts. And I, you know, it was only after a few years that I was able to get an overlocker, it was a Burnett. 
and it's getting old. It's 30 years old this year. I bought it in 93. So that overlocker needing replacement, this would be a perfect upgrade actually because the features have gotten better. So let's jump in. I will show you the, the three models in a row. I'll show you the stitches that they do. And you may have seen that I have red and blue thread on the machines behind me. So all the red thread is overlocker, serger, traditional stuff. The blue threads will be for what we call a chain stitch. You know that little zip line stitch that you can do? And also the cover stitch. A cover stitch is what the hem of your t-shirts is all made of. Those two rows, sometimes three, with a, a snaking thread underneath. So with these machines, you can do either or or both. So let's, let's jump in. I'm going to start with the B64. B64 is your, uh, if you want, conventional overlocker. But this series, airlocks, they all share some traits in common. They all have a freehand system so that when you push the bar with your knee, it lifts the foot so you don't have to do that. So the foot will go up, you put your fabric under, you start sewing. All the controls are on the outside. Your stitch length, your differential feed, which is standard for a serger. Even the foot lift manual lever is here. So you can actually lift the foot without having to reach back there and distorting your project. So everything is made to be ergonomic for you. Bright lighting, big space to work with. And then when you need your, you know, to get in there with your tools, like you want to change needle, you want all that stuff, it's all the tools are inside. This is something Bernina innovated on the Burnett line way back in the late 80s, early 90s. So you never lose your tools. Everything is there when you need it and you get going. Your knife is easily removed. Notice that this, this line, you do not open the left panel on these machines. They don't swivel out to get to the controls anymore. Everything is on the outside. So when you're in the middle of a project, if you needed to change your stitch length, your cutting width, anything, things you do on a serger all the time, you would not have to disturb your project. It would stay put. You would just do your control changes on the outside. So very useful. Then you have things that have been added by Bernina uh, for instance, this little lever here, when you flick it back, you can do a roll hem, right? An edge of napkins, edge of tablecloths. It's a nice little roll hem. I'll show you stitches in a bit that what they look like. This feature, that little retractable finger here, that was introduced by Burnett, uh, thanks to Bernina Engineering, way, way back around 1990, right? So that's something Bernina brought to market. And then there's a, a little patented feature here that I will show you uh, when I show you the stitches called Micro thread control. That's the fine tuning uh, little lever for your stitches and you'll see what it does later. That's a Bernina feature that has been grafted onto a Burnett a series so that you get stitch perfection even in a value level line. And that's the beauty of Burnett. So this here, one of the big things with the airlocks is that when, you, uh, when you're ready to thread your... Hey, Sylvain. Yes. I love this serger, and I love this, but your shoulder's just in front of the... Um, yeah, and I'm about, I'm about to do... Watch this. I'm about to do the wee. Oh, the I love it. Camera magic. Thank you. Yep. I, what, I grew up in the big family, right? There was eight of us, six kids, and if you stood in front of the TV, the five siblings would say, your father does not work in the glass industry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when it's time to thread the loopers, you know, uh, the, can we go to face cam? The number one thing people are afraid of with surgeries, especially if they're new to overlockers, is the threading. And it's not, it's not that hard. But until you learn it, you know, it, it seems complicated. There's four threads. There's two loopers that do this. There's the two needles. The needles, it's like a sewing machine, right? You pass your thread into the up here, and then you just poke it through the needle. So that's easy. But the loopers, you know, conventionally, traditional surgeries, you have to do one before the other. Otherwise, it won't work. Not anymore. Because these are air threaders. What they do is there's a tunnel. They pass the thread through for you. And then whatever order you do it works. So I have one already threaded. I'll show you how this works. It's very hard. I connected my pipes, right? There's, you just turn the wheel and they, they plug in uh, after using a little lever. And then you let me just insert the thread just a little bit here. Normally, you sit in front of your machine. And then you hit the button here. And... My thread just came out of the looper on its, its own. Magic. It's right here, right? It's magic. So I did not. Yeah, it, it is. Then you just retract this and you are 
ready to sew, right? So threading is super made, it made super easy. So the things that used to be complicated with the serger, if it's your first one especially, has been leveled off. Threading is easy. Controls all on the outside. So it behaves more like a sewing machine, and then you can just enjoy using it. So this is a conventional, uh, in terms of stitch formations, right? You may read on the brochures a two, three, four thread overlocker. That's classic. This is a two, three, four thread overlocker. So let me show you how the stitch formations work. And I'll show you samples here at the little camera on the side. I'm going to start with the four threads. This is a four thread uh, stitch. So you have two needles and two loopers. Don't worry what those are called. And this is basically what you could construct a knit garment with. If you make a t-shirt or fix a t-shirt or a sweatshirt with this stitch, it will not come apart, right? So that's nice, very convenient, classic bread and butter uh, feature on a serger. Then you have three threads. And three threads, basically, uh, if you are sewing, even at a sewing machine, when I made my shirts, I would sew the seam, the side seams, for instance, or the, you know, the sleeve seams at the sewing machine because that's what I had. And then I would go to my overlocker and use a three thread. And then I would run my fabric this way. And it, this would take the two layers and finish them together so they don't fray. And you can go narrow like this or you could go even wider. Little tip, if you already have an overlocker, uh, if you go with a narrow three thread, your seam allowances won't be as stiff after you join them together like this, uh, after the seam is sewn already on the sewing machine, for instance. So I prefer a narrow three thread to the wide three thread for that purpose. But here, if you look here, do you see this little red thickness here on the side? This is a little loopy. Sometimes you have a fabric that is thinner and if you try, you know, it will not necessarily behave on the, because it's so thin, like fine silks. So the loops may be a little bit off the edge. It has to do with the way the fabric behaves after it's cut. If that happens, I use that little made to, um, made to create, that's another Bernina MTC. Uh, the micro thread control is just a lever that allows you to bring the loops closer to the fabric. And now you can tell this here, there's no more red on the edge. This is perfectly clean. So that, if I can bring it a little closer, no, I sure won't show more. But anyway, you can tell here there's a little red fringe and here there isn't. And all I had to do is pull that little lever backwards just a hair and it takes care of it. That is a patented Bernina feature available on far more expensive units, but that has been grafted onto the Burnett line, the B6 series, one of the 64, for instance, so that you can get perfect stitch formation on a value on the Burnett line. So that's for the three threads. Now, the countdown continues. We can do two threads. What I did here is I put one thread in the needle, a regular sewing thread, and then in the looper underneath, you know, the two loopers that crisscross like this underneath the machine, right? They knit the fabric, on, they knit the thread almost. I use a heavy thread, like a 12 weight. And what that, what that does is that now it's sewed like this, see? So it's sewed uh, with a needle on top and then the looper on the bottom. And then when you're done, you pull this up and you pull the fabric apart and then it flattens down. And then the thick thread on the top becomes a basically a trim line. This can become both a structural seam and a decorative seam. You could use any color thread you want. You can do gold thread on a canvas. You can do anything you want. It will actually create a decorative effect on the surface while joining two pieces together. So the surgery is more, for far more than just finishing seam edges uh, when you, you know, sew a project together. It has also decorative possibilities. And then I mentioned that you could do uh, rolled hems, right? With that little lever that Bernina introduced in just around 1990. You can do a rolled hem with regular thread. Uh, that's great for, I used to do a liner for curtains in muslin. So to prevent the curtains from, uh, when I was a grad student, from being burnt by the sun, right? So I would just do this at the bottom of the liner and bingo, it would uh, finish my bottom edge and I didn't have to do anything complicated. And then if you want to, you could use, a heavier thread, that's my 12 weight thread, and now it becomes more of a bead and it becomes more decorative. You can do a, a razzle-dazzle type thread. You can do a whole bunch of thicker, even thicker than 12 weight, 
to get a, a decorative finish on a rolled hem. So that could be the edge of napkins. Again, that could be the edge of a project where ruffles, for instance, you can really do a lot of things with the rolled hem. And on the or airlock, all you had to do was to pull the little lever backwards. Let's go back to machine cam. So I had, you know, you can do all, up to four threads here. Everything is super easy. There's even a little rubberized pad here on the back of the thread stand so that if you go from one to two needles, for instance, or down to, from two to one, when you take off a needle that is still good, you can park it there so that you, uh, you basically can reuse it later. It will hold it for you. So this is your standard overlocker. It is really a class act of a machine. It does all the tricks that a two, three, four thread serger does with the enhancements of the ergonomics that Bernina brings to the game. The freehand system, you know, easy levers for everything, all controls on the outside, and even the foot lever here if you want to do it manually. Nice and easy. But then, what if you already have a... So isn't, that, isn't that a... I tell you, this is... Uh, when I saw this, I said, where was that when I started? You know, mine was, remember the old surgeries? You had to go around the round knobs. Oh, right? yeah. Uh -huh. And then you had to tweak and all that. It worked. It just wasn't that easy, right? It wasn't that easy. So oh. this, uh, this has been very popular. We launched this about three and a half years ago. It's been super, super popular. And it's a step up from a budget overlocker. Yet, and this is the key word for today, it doesn't break the bank. Okay. Yes. And you have a special, you have a special, uh, you know, this month on it, right? Oh yes. Well, just for twelve days. Oh, twelve days, oh, and yeah. it's not even Christmas yet. I know. <laughs> Christmas in June, right? Yeah, exactly. Why, well, you, as we said earlier, right? Wait, wait of, in, to, until July, right? Exactly. So, yeah. Now, one thing I've not mentioned yet is that you notice that this, this here, all three machines are shown with a slightly different work, work surface configuration. All three machines do all three configurations. I just wanted to be able to show each, each configuration, but this one has three, this one has three. So this is the free arm. Ooh. On a value serger at an affordable price, you can sew a cuff on a sleeve. You can sew a neckline. You can sew in you know, a tube. Uh, you can sew around a, a, a cylinder on the free arm. That used to be only high-end top-line serger material, right? Now you have it here. And so that's, uh, that's one configuration. And I'll cover the other two as I go along, okay? So what if you have a serger? You, uh, you know, yeah, let's say you bought a serger five years ago. You like it. You know how to thread it. You know how to use it. You don't have to learn anything. It's like the car you've had for seven years. You put the key in. You could almost drive with your eyes closed. Not recommended, but you could probably do that, right? So you might say, well, I don't need to replace my serger. You know, it does what I want. I like it. I don't have to relearn anything. But I'd like to be able to do a construction seams like a chain stitch and a cover stitch right cover stitch is great not i mentioned clothes right the hem those two lines on the bottom of my hem that is a cover stitch right and but, look at and, that stretch that stretch that you just made oh that only went, you got well, i kind of need it these days but <laughs> <laughs> so cover stitch is not just for that I, you know, I, I, I love uh, three kinds of sewing. I started with garments. I do art quilts nowadays, but I love not so much home deck, but home-related sewing. Uh, once made, actually, I paid for my first burn, you know, way back then, because I made bay window curtain, super nice fabric we got as a end of line. It was cheap. And because I did everything myself, I saved $1,000 on those curtains. It paid for my first burn, you know, right? You want to hem curtains, let's say four-inch hem. If you sew this on the sewing machine, it works, but it tightens that hem. And if, they, if they're washable curtains, which those were, eventually that hem may flutter a little bit at the bottom because there's two layers being bound together and the rest of the fabric is only a single layer. It's just the physics of cotton fabric, right? If you turn that hem four inches, so picture that this is your fabric and you turn the four inches in. Once you turn that hem in, if you could do just a cover stitch from the top, you'll have two lines of stitching, okay, or three, depending on what you want. We'll get back to that. And then on the bottom, you have that, that snaking stitch, but that, that allows some flexibility in the seam. So you, get, instead, you, you would fold a hem, press it, and then run that, and it would protect the raw edge of that hem at the, at the very end of it. And your, that hem would never flutter because there's some flexibility built in. So you could do a whole bunch. When you say hem, I don't wear skirts, so I don't think skirts all the time. 
but you can hem a whole bunch of stuff. Anything, anytime you need to turn over a raw edge to protect it, the cover stitch is your ally. So let me show you. You may have a surgery you already have that you already like, and you say, I'd like the, you know, to add those fun those features, you know, those stitches, but I don't want to break the bank. You know, it's it's kind of a it's a it's something you may not want to invest as a main machine, but you still you know, you still have the need for it. So the solution here is the B62. Well, Airlock. I love, hey Sylvain, I love that Tracy asked this question. Oh uh, yes. Because she said, is the B64 the top of the line serger for Bernina? Oh, yeah. Which is a very good question, Tracy. I'm yeah. glad that you asked that. The B64 is midline in Burnett. Bernina sergers will cost more. You know, you're talking Swiss engineering, you talk, you know, the L8 series is made by Bernina. It is, you know, it's going to cost more, way more, right? <laughs> and threading and all that. And finally, I don't have one at home, but I love my Bernina surgeries, right? This makes the key features in within reach, you know, affordable. Yeah. So this is the middle of the line. We're going to do sure, a little. But math. it's the top of the line for Burnett. Not Very quite. Well. We're going to do. Quite. We're going to do some math later. This is a sixty-four, right? Trick question. <laughs> the sixty-two. Is yeah. a companion is about to show two times four equals eight. 68 is the top. Okay. Is that why it's the model number? Okay, so the B68 is the top of the line. Yes. Combination machine. Yes. And we'll get we'll get to there. Yeah, that's 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 really the, the, the one with the cherry on top. So let's go back. So if you want a dedicated cover and chain machine. The chain stitch, by the way, once you sew it and do your cross seam, you know, you, you sew your project together, those seams stay put. They're really, really well, uh, uh, nice and flexible. This machine I helped introduce last year at convention. I sewed clear vinyl, heavy clear vinyl, onto zipper tape and top stitch it, and I could never skip a stitch. This thing went, it, it was bulletproof. It really, I was super impressed. It, there was absolutely no sacrificing quality of seaming because the machine costs less than a Bernina. It, it is a, a real trooper. So here you have a chain stitch and a cover stitch. If you do fittings, like garment people, the chain stitch, until you, uh, until you stabilize it by finishing you know, the cross seams and lock, you know, sewing the rest of the project together, the seam, it stays put. But if you were to pull on it a certain way, it's like the zip line, you can remove that seam. So for fittings, this is very flexible. Once you assemble the project, those seams don't zip off at all. They stay put. But you, uh, you have flexibility there. Notice that this machine has the same freehand system. It does not have a cutter, right? This does not cut. It always does cover or chain, which is a flat construction. And I'm showing this one with the flat bed. You know, just, there's, a, there's a cap here that goes on top of the free arm. And once you put that cap on, basically, you have just the bed of the machine itself. Sometimes, some projects, you don't want them to, you know, you don't want the big table because they may snag into your table. You may want the project to just fall off the edge of the serger and then you just sew on it, right? So that's one of the configurations. This machine has all three configurations like the others, but that's just to show you this one. Same thing inside here. You have all your tools inside. You have your air threading. So it thread, basically threads itself. The rest is the needles, just like a sewing machine, and you're good to go. This, is, this insert here is for giving you a flat bed. And if you want to use the big table on here, there's a longer insert that will match to the table. And I used this when I made a, uh, there was a project bag that we did with a big long zipper. And with the table attached, it was a dream. So again, same thing, controls on the outside, super easy to use, threads itself just about. And then you just you know focus on your work. So this is the perfect companion if you already have an overlocker. And then the, the one benefit is that if you have a separate cover and chain machine like this, you don't have to convert back and forth if you want to do uh, from overlocking to uh, you know, cover and chain. You would have two separate machines and then you just do both. So a uh, great standalone if you, uh, if you want to do like fittings. You want to, the, and it's also a good companion machine if you already have an overlocker that you like. And the price is sweet too, usually. Uh, that's a very, very good. And actually, you, I will show you some stitch formations here. And I was not doing, I was not making ticking, although it looks like it. This is the chain stitch, little straight line, right? 
So that is a regular seam, and on the bottom you can see this is the chain here, the, the looper underneath. As a basically, uh, you can see a little loop in the thread, that's normal. That gives the seam flexibility. So this seam here looks, you know, when you're done from the top, looks like a sewing machine seam. And that seam would allow, that stitch would allow you to construct a project from A through Z instead of using a sewing machine. You could actually use the chain stitch instead. This here, do you see these two needles? You can do a narrow two thread, a two needle that's called a narrow cover stitch. It's called cover stitch because on the bottom, you see that that uh, looper thread, the one that zigzags in between, that gets looped in between, that will cover up. So if you had a hem that finished up here and you ran that over the edge, it would cover the raw edge of that hem that was brought up. So if I were to run this against this edge here, it would cover that up. From the top, all I would see is two little lines. This is how your T-shirts are finished, right? You can do two, two needles like this, uh, to what we call a two-thread cover stitch, or to, uh, you can do narrow or wide. I like the wide one for things like curtains because it gives you a little margin for error. If you run the, you know, the curtains, if your fabric was waving a little bit underneath because your cut wasn't quite right, it would actually still cover that up and you would be done with it. And then there's a three needle one. The three needle one does the same thing as the wide, see, same width, but it adds a needle in the middle. That gives you a little more stability. So actually, that's the one I would use on hemming curtains because it would lo lock down that hem when you put it up. Any hem that is subject to a lot of wear will benefit from this one. So if, you, if I ever have to redo, for instance, the hem on a t-shirt or a sweatshirt, I would, I would use this and then I will never have to redo it again. Now, you could, uh, you've seen here where the loop, you know, in the looper underneath, the one that air threads itself, right? I put a regular thread. But if you put a decorative thread, this is 12 weight. Uh, it's, it's spaghetti from Wonderfill, actually. So if you put something like this in the looper, you can now make this into a decorative trim. What you do is you sew, um, let's go back to face cam. What you do is you sew on, you flip your project upside down. You sew from the wrong side. So the needle thread is just on the, hidden on the bottom. But when you flip the right side up, then you now have that decorative thread. You can use Razzle Dazzle, it's very popular. You can use, you want to do a, a Christmas stocking and you want to do a, a, a trim at the top. You know, they do these braided trims. Well, you put that heavy thread in the looper underneath and then all you have to do is from the wrong side, run even the three needle and that will give you that nice wide decorative trim on the top. Let's say with a, a, a golden colored thread, it doesn't have to be metallic, it can be just golden uh, colored thread. And now you've made your own trim in a fraction of the second. So it's good for all sorts of projects. You wanna do a decorative pillows. You, you can do crisscrossing of those decorative threads. We do this with chain stitches like this, running perpendicular. And you just do a perpendicular like on, on point and you now have created a unique fabric treatment and you just make your pillow out of it and you can actually sew the pillow together with a chain stitch right here. So you put your two needles, you, take, you, you make your trim and once you decorated your fabric, you take one needle, you, you keep the center needle only and then you just go to town and make your pillow, assemble it that way, including inserting the zipper. Okay, so that is for the B62. It's a great companion machine, great standalone, especially if you have a good serger that you like already, and you, or you may just bought it recently, and you say, you know what, I'm not ready to trade it in. Fine, you can now add this and not give up what you already like. Okay, so love, love, love the B62. We sold on uh, most of the project we did at the convention last year. Vinyl, quilted layers together, at, all attached to a zipper, and all, all done, uh, sewn on the edges to finish a project pouch. And we even sewed through the zipper coils, or well, nylon zipper. We sewed through the zipper coils and by hand, hand walking the wheel. And this thing was a real trooper. I was mightily impressed. It did everything and never, never got a bad stitch. So I was, I, I was uh, totally won over. I love, love, love that machine. So that's for the B62. Do we have any questions at this point? Hey, Sylvain, one of my things that I love about this, uh, this line of overlock, cover him and the combination of overlock and cover him uh -huh. uh, is that they all have that long arm from needle to neck. Yes. So you can see behind if you need to grab a thread real quick. I saw you, you yeah, know. Even, even my hands fit there, right? Yeah. Conventional surgers, 
I, I'm, I'm about to put my shoulder on the camera. <laughs> Conventional surgeons, you have to go back here and try. You know, this is not this is not ergonomic. I don't like, right? I'm not a left hand person. <laughs> I like to grab things with my right hand. Uh, yeah. But yes, that's one of my favorite um, things about this surgery. And um, you'd have to get the Bernina to get a long arm like that. That's five, six times the price of this one. Um, yeah. So the fact that you can get all of those features on the Burnett line of airlocks is amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. Again, you know, this is where the value, the value coefficient here just jump right up because you're getting all these features, but the price doesn't go, you know, sky sky high. So yes, it is. I wish, I wish the machines like this were available when I was a grad student. Uh, I had none of the gray hair back then. <laughs> so yeah. The knee lifter is one of my favorite uh, features. Oh, it's it's well. brilliant! You're doing this project. It's you know you have to get all this stuff coordinated, put put in place, and then by the time you go on the machine, you're gonna let go of everything to bring the foot down, right? Now talking about putting the foot down, the fact that the foot lever it's not conventional. It's my first machines uh, have ever to have. Uh, yeah, let's do the diagonal here. You want to do it? Let's do it here. Right? We're on this one already, right? Okay, we're switching. Okay, so do you see the lever is here, right? So look at the presser foot. While I lift the lever here, boom, the foot goes up. What I like of that is that in the past, let's go back to face cam. In the past, your, your stuff is on the machine, and then you have to go back here to drop the foot. So you're already letting go. So now, th and this is, this is basically Bernina design. When we say Swiss design, this is where we mean it. So now I lift the foot with the, even with the freehand system and I put the stuff down and if my left hand stays there because that's where the fabric is right around the foot and I, if I you know I can lift the foot bring the foot down by here or if I forgot to put my bar on or I'm camping today I took the machine forgot the bar at home which I should never do I can actually bring it down with my right hand but never let go of my project with the left hand. So I, you get better results that way. St stuff stays put, your project stays put until you sew. Now, if you ask me, I am crippled without the knee bar. I use it all, <laughs> all the time. And to have a knee lift system on, usually that's a feature you only get on top line surgeries from expensive brands, like Bernina, right? But we have it now in the, mid, you know, in the mid range uh, overlocks, uh, airlocks in this case. So great feature. So I mentioned the math earlier, right? Are we ready to do the math? Well, I want to get through a few little comments before right, we cool. get to the, the main attraction of the evening. Um, Paula says, I love my brunettes. Awesome. Uh, they're amazing. So brunette is actually two words combined. It's Bernina yes. and Odette, Odette. who yes. was one of the owners of Bernina. And yeah, Odette was the mother of the current chairman. Yes. And then he was actually Mr. Ulchi. We, we call him HP because you know we've known him for 25 plus years. We uh, he was in charge of Burnett. That was one of his first projects when he was learning the ropes, right? And so he wanted a name that was meaningful. And so he says, "Okay, Bernina and Odette." And uh, Mrs. Ulchi was a very, very high-profile businesswoman in Switzerland in her period, and that you know she was like a, a figurehead. Really, she she was a trailblazer because mostly it's men at the top, at, you know, at the top of big companies, and and she was so. And we, you know, we're at the fourth generation family-owned company, Bernina, and so Bernina takes the takes product development very seriously, right? It is not it's it's not a, a it, it, they don't do it for shareholders, they do it for you know it. This needs to work, and we always joke. Well, I always say, does it sell? How well does it so? That's the test, right? And so this, this, it's, I, I tell you, I was very, very impressed. Uh, they sew really, really well. That's the test. I'm a, as a user, how does it sell, right? And then well, when I find out that it's so easy Linda. to use. <laughs> Linda says, I still have a really old brunette. Yeah. Good, <laughs> good, good, good. So, um, Odette actually was the inventor of the freehand system uh, knee lifter that you see on these surgeries today. So she is an inspiration to us all. 
Yes. Um, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Gail commented, yes, I'm here for it. Yes, we are. Uh, Jennifer asked, do you accept trade-ins? I really want the Burnett cover him. So uh, uh, Jennifer, I am going to flash our um, our locations on the screen. Um, please contact your closest store um, and we'd be happy to talk to you about uh, trade-in on uh, your machine. Yes. So uh, Roxanne needs a serger. This is a very, very good serger. I would recommend it every day. Um, and <laughs> let's see, Barbara Jones says, Hello from Houston. Better late than never. These machines are really nice. Almost enough for me to trade in my autographed searcher for one. <laughs> yes, they are. They are very nice. Um, so let me just um, recap. We talked about the B64. That's mm -hmm. the overlocker. So that's yep. like your standard searcher, but you have yep. all of the top of the line features on it. Um, and that's this one here. This yeah. one is the one that's on super duper sale. So it's normally a $12.99 um, every day in the store and on the internet. But from June 1st, that's today, um, happy June, everyone, to June 12th, 2023, you can purchase that online for only $9.99 free shipping. We also offer financing offers. So if you wanted to pay a low price per month, um, we can get you set up with that as well. So um, amazing machine. Um, and then the cover hem only version um, is our $12.99 with free shipping. And that's the B62. So if you're interested in seeing or learning more about either of these two products, go ahead and click the shop product link in the description of this video. And we have all three models listed there for you. So last but not least sylvain i know we have the cream of the we're gonna crop. do math now hard <laughs> math two times four equal eight right so the 68 let's go there <laughs> so here's the 68. so everything i've said already you know ergonomics all controls on the outside everything applies this one i'm showing you with the big table attached and let me swing over i'll show you how big that table is it's just a little button on the back you press and it slides right off and this is your big table, right? It, it really adds to your workspace. So and to put it on, all you do is engage it, slide, it snaps right in. So of course, it, you know, when you do overlock, you have the, the, what we call the cutoff spin, the scrap catcher. This one comes, the, the other one, the 64 came with that too because it has a cutter. I just didn't put it on just to show the front, the front panel. So this one, this one can do up to five threads. So, I've kept the color coding. The red threads would be for overlocking. What I did here is a five stitch combo. What, what we call a five stitch combo. If you look at the side seam of your pants, in, you're gonna see that stitch and I will show you in a second. So this has all the same things. Your cutting width, your micro thread control is here. Your rolled hem is here. You can use this machine in overlock only. You can use this machine in cover or chain only or you can use it all at the same time. Uh, I, uh, let me show you this. Each machine comes with something like this. This is a thread, the, your stitch formation chart. It basically tells you where, what threads to use, where, what tensions to set, so that you will get the stitch as it's called here. Some of them are decorative, some of them are structural, like the, you know, the combo stitch that the side of my jeans are sewn with. So, and, and a lot of garments are sewn. Most of your garments are sewn with that stitch, actually. It does a straight seam, and then it does a three-thread overlock to protect the edge, right? And bind those two seam allowances together. So, uh, that's that. And then uh, every machine, uh, the three machines each come with their stitch a chart. And a little tip, by the way, you photocopy this. You know, two sheets, one side, blow them up. Put them on your wall in your sewing room. When you want to stitch, there it is. And it's right at a glance, you don't have to. Or... Uh, some of this material is available to download. You can put it on an iPad and then look it up there. This is the quick reference guide. It is so well done. It, uh, I, you know, I've always thought, you know, people say, oh yeah, buy a cheap product. You know, the manual's th that great too. This, everything is pictorial, clearly identified. All the actions are red arrows. So it tell you what to do, what to turn, you know, when, and then it's all in detail. So 
this is all you need basically to operate the machine. Step by step, you know, it's all there. The rest is what are the settings for each stitch. So each machine comes with its own uh, documentation. And also each machine comes with its own uh, accessories. You know, screwdriver, oil. By the way, oil on a serger, not the same as your sewing machine. A serger moves very, has diff very different parts inside. The oil for sergers is more viscous, is thicker than sewing machine oil. Never, never share over, okay? Keep them separate. You get needles, you get your cone adapters, you get special spool adapters, screwdriver, you name it. Uh, there, you know, all the, all the goodies, even thread nets. If you're gonna use some finicky threads that tend to jump out, uh, you can tame them. So the machines come with their own set of accessories in their own little box and you're good to go. And when, you, when I travel, this is how I travel. I put it in the cutoff bin, I can take the machine with me and then I don't forget my accessories behind. So that's for the 68. It combines everything. Let's go to the, the stitch demo. I will show you what it does. So remember we did, we did the blue uh, chain stitch here, right? Here's your blue chain stitch. If I flip this, do you see the chain? It's a little thicker than the regular stitch, right? And then I showed you the three thread overlock, right? So this is a three thread overlock. I did an arrow here on the original. But this is a wide one. See, this is as, as wide, uh, how wide you can go with this. And this, if it's all in the same color thread, this is exactly how your garments are put together. So, so it's Benny, so can I go. make an observation here? Yes. Uh, because we're all brands. We sell all brands of sergers. That's really? <laughs> that stitch width is oh. amazing comparatively to what you would get. Yeah, with it's nine that millimeters. Oh, why is this on the market? Yeah. <laughs> and you know, you might ask yourself why you know, on a sewing machine, you sew a straight stitch, you're done. Why would a wider overlock stitch matter? When you have thicker materials, like think polar fleece or Turkish towel materials, stuff like that, a shorter stitch will struggle with the loft and the bulk of that material. So on, on wider stitch, on, on thicker materials, a wider stitch gives the seam the thread room to breathe if you want it has room and time to lay down and it, you get a better seam that way and when you do let's go back to the ipvo camera when you do that flatten stitch that gets really wide that gives you more decorative possibilities i could have done a shorter stitch here this would have and with a thicker thread this would have filled up like where it becomes a solid and this could be like a goldish color, it could be a razzle dazzle with a you know fleck of metallic in it. You can really do decorative stuff. So yes, the 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 um, the decorative possibilities are better. So let me show you a little how the math works here. Okay, let's well stay on IP vote. So we said we have four thread. Okay, this is four thread. See overlock four threads. Then we have three threads, and then we had two threads. Right? And then we did rolled ham right here. And then we did all these uh, formations here with the cover and chain. And the B68 does all of this plus the combo. So it's, you know, as I say, it's like the sum of the other two and more, including the combo stitch. So you could do you could do a whole bunch of stuff with it. You know, this if you just want to upgrade uh, to one machine that will do both, because you know maybe your space is limited, and you say, okay, you know what? One actually, this will be usually less than the sum of the other two if you want. And if you're ready to upgrade, it is you know in in its own way, it's a better value. But again, you have all the options here. You're not locked into one thing versus the other. You can add. You can start here. You can add, or you can combine everything at once. And I will tell you, even uh, you know the, the special that's going on right now on the 64, that's the price I paid for my Burnett serger 30 years ago, 30 years this year. And so in constant dollars, in today's dollars, it costs less, but my older serger did not have all this, all this stuff, did not have micro-thread control, did not have uh, you know, the, the freehand system did not have some of these features and, and did not have air threading. That's huge. Air threading is, you know, uh, as I say, uh, I know how to thread a serger, but 
if you find yourself before you thread a surgery, like, okay, I have to thread the surgery. You know, there's that little psychological step, like, okay, it's four threads, I need to get in there, right? With this, it's like, phew, open the door, let's go. You know, push a button and it's threaded. So it takes the, those obstacles off that stand between you and using your surgery. How many people, Barbara, would you say, bought a surgery and three years later are still afraid of it? Um, I would say that that's very, very common. Uh, we often get uh, people coming into our store saying, hey, can you thread my surgery for me? Yeah. I'm, I'm apprehensive. So if I, if, if I can afford a dad, a dad pun, <laughs> I am a father after all, this blows that argument out of the window. <laughs> It blows right? my mind. No, it, does, it does make it easier. And I tell you, you get used to this the first time you use it and yeah. because it's easy. Remember I said earlier, right, the reason people bring their, their conventional surgery to be rethreaded, right, is because on a conventional surgery, the two loopers, the ones that, the, the ones that crisscross underneath here, they need to be threaded in a specific order or the th that it won't work. Not here. Because yeah. this, the thread tunnels underneath in the air channels. It goes and will find its way, and it will never cross the wrong way. So you can just thread them. That's it. You're done. So love, love that. Even even I, well, yeah, I'm used to surgeries, but I love this. And when I, I actually, I have to say, I've not really used my old surgery, my conventional, since this came out. Because <laughs> why? <laughs> why would I? Right? Why would I? Yeah. yeah. So that the, all three of them are an excellent value. You know, they're they're really really well put together. And remember, each one they all do free arm, they all do regular flat bed, and they all do big table because they, it comes with. Okay. Wonderful. It's uh, it's a great and they go fast. The cutting power is good. Um, there's even a spare blade for your cutter. Wow. You know, because every once in a while somebody will try to cut pins with their serger because they forgot to take the pins out. Uh, no to self, to uh, no to everyone. If you use a, a sewing machine for that matter, but an overlocker with a knife, right? So the 68 and the 64, use wonder clips, you know, use clips instead of pins. Because those you know you'll have to remove or they'll get cut off, you know, by the time you get there. So they'll you know the fabric will get cut off and they'll you know they'll fall off. But use clips instead of pins so you don't forget them. <laughs> yeah, and you just don't stick yourself with it as well. Oh, so don't ask me how I know this. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you, once you nick a knife, it will start chewing, right? It's not yeah. good. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been there, done that, learned that one. So how easy is it to thread the cover him? Oh, okay. Cover him. Cover him is only one looper. One looper here. Okay. So, in, you know, poke the thread into the little orifice and press press the button. You know, you engage your pipes and then you go and it threads the looper. That's supposedly the hard part, but not anymore. And then the, the other th one, two or three threads are your needles. So that's like a sewing machine. Look, you take the thread down you, 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 at the back. Down past the tension on a, like a sewing machine, go down here. On the sewing machine, you go right back up, but here you go to the side first, then you go over the take up lever, and then you go thread your needle. So, so then, I have to say, I have manually threaded cover hem machines before, and they are very there's a lot of little nooks and crannies to go through. And I convinced myself that I needed a dedicated cover hem because I didn't want to manually thread the cover hem. And the yeah. fact that it's, it threads it by air. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, because when you, when you have to go underneath, you have to go left, you know, the looper is like this. So you have to go to the elbow of the looper and you know, get that there. Now. Yeah. It's, it's, it's more work. It's more work. And if you miss a spot, it won't, the tension won't be right. This is like, press the button. Love it. Love, love, love it. Yeah. And, but the fact that at, the, at these price points, you have air threading, freehand system, Bernina patented fe features like micro thread control on the, the ones that do overlock. That's, you know, when I saw that, I was like, mind blown. And I, you know, I sew on Berninas, right? I'm a Bernina educator. And I'm like, wow. My, so I think of my Burnettes as my little protégés. <laughs> Because my nickname is Captain Burnett at the office. I, you know, I, I, I relate to Burnett because I wanted a Burnett. My first sewing machine was a garage shell plunker, $15. 19, I bought it in, nine, in uh, 1990. It was a 1965 Montgomery Wards flatbed. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, okay. it sold like $15, okay? And then it took uh, three years to get an overlocker after that. Well, I wish this, this stuff like this had been around. We won't because, hold it against you, Sylvain. And affordable, <laughs> and affordable. See, that's the thing. You don't sacrifice anything. You know, you get features, you get value, you get and you get performance, but also you don't break the bank. And that's important. Yeah, so speaking of value, um, we talked about the B64 and the B62. We just uh, covered the B68, that's funny, covered cover him and overlock. Um, yeah. So this is it. It is not that much more than the B62. Um, so to purchase both of those models separately, you can get an amazing price on the B68 for only $17.99, free shipping. Yes, we have financing. Yes, we have free shipping within the continental USA. So um, go ahead and click the shop product link in the description of this video um, to learn more about that. Or you can check out on our website there. Um, that is, I think, the one to get. It, actually, I think it is uh, one of the few, if not the only combo air threaded machine under $2,000. Yes. And you know, uh, so that's, you know, I, so, yeah, when I first saw the price, I did a double take. I say, really? <laughs> I know. I was like, whoa. Yep, yep, yep. yep. And uh, you can tell this is not just some, you know, uh, this is made for Bernina by a manufacturer, right? But Bernina had a hand in the engineering because that micro thread control, that is a Bernina patented feature. You will not find this, that little touch of perfection. Regardless, for instance, you're sewing, let's say, fleece together. You know, you want to you want to upscale a garment. You're going to put layers together. You went from two layers of fleece, and now you have a cross seam or like four layers for the cuff. And your stitch got a little tighter because there's more bulk in there. You just take that little lever and you just tweak it a hair, and it's perfect again. You know, it's it's awesome. It's like it's really really a well well engineered product. Yeah. I completely agree with you and the fact that it does the combination stitch um yep. you can't do that with if you get the two other ones and put them together mm -hmm. unless you do multiple steps um in this one this one does everything yes that's the, the you know that's the, the that's that's dessert <laughs> it yeah. does everything <laughs> that's the one to get and we have all of these in stock currently so um Right now, June 1st through the 12th, we do have the sale on the uh, overlocker and um, free shipping and financing. So please uh, click the shop product link in the description of this video. You can purchase any of these models from allbrands.com. Uh, we're a family owned and operated business since 1976. And uh, we only show products that we personally endorse. Um, I personally endorse the Burnett Airlocks. They blow me away. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. All right. So we have, we have a few comments and questions to get through um, before we uh, finalize everything for today. But if you mm -hmm. haven't yet, um, please be sure to um, comment hashtag all brands because very shortly we'll be doing a giveaway uh, for an allbrands.com e-gift card. Oh, speaking of, um, I remember that you were talking about We All Sew blog a little oh, earlier. Yes. I wanted you to tell us a little bit more about that. It's really yeah. impacted my creativity because mm -hmm. we, we also, uh, you know, uh, you, we also dot com, right? Uh, it is a gold mine. It's our blog. So uh, it's better than the main website in terms of ideas, right? The website is there for document the products, but this is where you find tutorials. Project ideas. Uh, you want to learn want to learn how to sew a shirt from A through Z. There's a there's a sew along. We have these sew alongs for basic quilting, shirt, your garment making, you name it. And there's uh, tutorials. There's accessory focused posts. Uh, if you just put overlocker or chain stitch, you'll see a bunch of articles show up, and there'll be again a variety of media in there. Projects, tutorials, techniques that show you how to use a chain stitch, basically. So we also is a gold mine. It's, there's hundred, I want to say thousands, well over a thousand articles in there by now. So uh, if you need, you know, fodder for creativity, bingo, that's the place to go. Yeah. Yes. And there's also, uh, Bernina has a new app um, for the, um, for your for smartphone. The 
Yes. Yeah. Um, so there's actually a lot of presser feet available for these uh, airlines. Yeah, and you know what? My bad. I meant to. It's uh, <laughs> I've been on the road for two weeks, so no I was like, I was betting fast. But we have these. Uh, there's additional feet available for overlocking, which means they will work on both of these. Yeah. And there's available feet for chain stitch and cover, which work with you know the two that can do those. So uh, this one can use all the feet basically. So the, the, they also come in sets. For instance, the cover, the cover, uh, because cover stitch is on the surface, and it's often you know it, either decorative, or it is important to follow a certain area. The cover stitch uh, extra feet are clear, so you can see through them and see what you're doing and maintain your alignment. You want to cover stitch you know between two stripes on the fabric. The clear foot will let you do that. You know, without with a difficulty. So they they're uh, more affordable even as a set. You can buy them separately, and each yeah. foot has a uh, you know each there's a booklet in the case with a set, but each foot separately has its own instructions and illustrations on how to use it, how to you know how to put it into action. So uh, yeah, you covered uh, whatever application you want to do. Uh, it used to be that budget lines, value lines like this were kind of the stepchild, right? But every brand has a junior brand, right? And there would be that you know there were not many accessories available for them. Uh -uh. Bernina takes Burnett very seriously because they realize that a grad student may have big ideas, not just a big wallet, right? So that you know you you still want to do all this stuff, and you are covered. If you wanted, you know, there are uh, feet that will double turn the fabric for you when you want to cover stitch it, right? Like cover the hem. And they are fit for a whole bunch of applications. So if you find if you find an application, you say, you know, what foot do I use for that? You can go to uh, burnett.com, and then all the feet are listed there. Or you call the store, and of course, and they, they will they will be able to advise you on the feet and and, and work it from there. So yeah, the, it, it only starts with the machine, the accessories, the articles, the projects, and all that will surround that machine, so it's well supported. Yes, yes. So if you're interested in adding on the kits with your purchase of the air, any of these airlocks, I do have those listed on our website, allbrands.com. If you click the shop product in the description of this video, it will take you to everything that we talked about today. Um, so yeah. Okay, let's um, get to some comments. We've had some awesome people in the chat today, um, making some really cool uh, comments and suggestions and just things. Here's Renee. She says, I need an air threader machine. I agree. <laughs> Everyone needs an air threader machine. Yep. <laughs> Here's Linda. She commented back. She said, if you can afford it, mm -hmm. get the air threading. Yeah. Yes. Linda also said air is a game changer. Yes, it is. It is. Actually it is that, and that's the key word. It is a game changer. Yeah. All right, and then here's one. Uh, Eartha says, I had a brunette searcher that lasted me 20 years before it died on me. I loved the searcher. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Now you can upgrade and get your yes. airlock brunette. <laughs> here's one from Cindy West, which is a very good question, Cindy. Okay. Um, do you have virtual cl classes to learn how to use the searcher? At this time, at this time, there are tutorials, basic operation on burnett.com where the models are. So that's one place to start. Um, we don't have dedicated virtual classes from here yet uh, on that because the classes, you know, we don't sell directly the machines. So usually we rely on the stores for, the, for classes, uh, but we keep developing classes for everything. So we're very busy. Yeah. <laughs> we're very busy oh, bees. No. <laughs> if, if you want to get more information, you can go to We Also Blog, and they have um, they tag the machines in there, so you can look up. Um, yes, whenever projects. we reference, yeah. And you know, if it's a project that was done on a serger, like it's a you know two, three, four thread, or if it's a cover or chain stitch, it doesn't matter if it was done on a Bernina, right? Even if it's on We Also, and if it was done on a Bernina, if, if it's the same stitch, you can do it here, so you can actually use that project. Wonderful. Okay, let's see if we have any more questions. Um, here we go. Barb asks, how long is your sale on, please? Thank you for asking. So that is um, June 
1st through the 12th. Today is June 1st, 2023. The B64 airlock is on super sale for under $1,000. So definitely um, grab them while they're hot, really. Okay, let's see. Um, more questions. Uh, um, dum, bum, 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 bum. I'm just checking the ones. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, one more from Barbara Jones, and then we're going to do a giveaway. All right. Barbara Jones says, the All Brands show is my favorite. Every time I watch, I learn something new. Barbara, you do an amazing job of booking great guests. Yes, Sylvain is awesome. And Linda commented, Sylvain, he is the best I've seen. Everyone was raving about you in the comments, so please keep it up. We love 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 your education and inspiration uh, it's it's the fun part of my job I, you know that's the best part you know uh, we are all users at heart right i tell people i may be you know my mind may think of projects and all that but my tuchus is totally a user when i sit down on the machine i want it to work for me i want it to be easy and i want to be able to focus on the project and that's why i like the burnett line it's really it's really targeted that way yeah, everyone's loving these burnets. I promise you guys, if you want to test it out, come to one of our um, seven retail store locations throughout Louisiana and Texas um, and give us a call before you come. Uh, we'll make sure that the machine is on the floor and ready to demo for you. Um, also, if you're just interested in doing trade-ins, uh, we'd be happy to show you any of the Burnett or Bernina over lockers and cover hems they are the best the best all right let's do a giveaway mm -hmm. and here we go let me all right drum roll please everyone and our winner for the 25 dollar allbreeds.com e-gift card bruce bolton congrats bruce Please uh, email me at events at allbrands.com, your name, number, and address to claim your prize. Thank you for watching. I know you've been watching for a very long time, so it's it's great to see you again. In, uh, in, and congrats for winning. Well, Sylvain, it's been a pleasure. Yes, it has been. So what's next for you? uh let's see well we are preparing for our annual convention coming up soon so uh yeah it's a uh, we call it the vortex it's, it gets busy <laughs> yeah but it, it's uh yeah it's a fun time though because we get to meet all the store staff and, and owners right so that's a it's a big hug fest and we get you know we we really get to share the trade if you want we love love i love con you know our convention it's my favorite thing of the year yeah. because we have to meet the real people in the field, you know, people who actually work in the, in the reality of the stores. So it's always fun. Well, I have a great big hug from all brands and from all of our watchers who love you whenever we <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll see everyone uh, next week. We'll be live with uh, Bamore Scissors, the scissor guy. Do you know him, Brent? Sylvain, mm -hmm. have you met Brent? Yep, yep. Yeah. He's cool. We cross roads right. at the trade shows. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, we'll see you uh, next Thursday at 3.30, everyone. Thank you for watching. And thank you, Sylvain, for coming on the show and sharing. Thank you for having me. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.